Hey guys, today we're going to take a nice look at this Lumen Top ODF-30. I know, kind of a boring model name, huh? Everything's got nice names and this just kind of has a weird number. Um, so, this thing's an interesting little light. Now, uh, what it is offhand, it's a single 26650 battery running an XHP70, which is one of the higher voltage LEDs. So obviously what you have is a battery and then a boost circuit that boosts, boosts the uh, LED up to a higher voltage, which allows you to get higher lumens um, with less heat compared to the smaller, you know, uh, traditional LEDs that are on the market. So let's look at our numbers here. And you can see here we have a low mode of uh, 150 lumens for 21 hours. Your medium is 540 for 5 hours. Your high is 1500 for 2 hours. And then you have, of course, a uh, basically a moonlight mode. They call it an eco mode, which is 250 hours, which is what? Like anywhere to like 10 days. And then your turbo is 3500, which is 3 minutes and then a step down basically to high at that point. So you only have a couple minutes at that. You can see your, your beam distance is over 200 meters, IPX8, waterproof, all that fun stuff. And we're going to show real quick as well your uh, flow chart for your user interface. That way you guys can pause it in case you guys get lost two, three years from now and you forget how to use this bad boy. We'll get to that in a second as far as operation. Next we're going to talk about what this light comes with. Which you can see we have kind of a nicer quality nylon sheath. Not the worst, not the best on the market by any means. Very fancy orange lanyard. Very helpful uh, to have these bright orange ones. Especially when you're doing camping, fishing, something like that. You set this down in the dark. A couple of spare O-rings which are always very, very helpful. And um, that's pretty much it. So a couple little goodies there. And now at this point... Um, who knows, you may be seeing some footage cut in of this being used, uh, possibly in the corner. So I guess we'll set this over here. That way I got a little room to uh, to play. Uh, unfortunately, one of the things I don't like about this is no anti-roll features. So if this is something you want to set down and walk away from, it can be a little bit of a pain. All right, so what you have is a single E-switch operation. And what you do is just click to turn it on. Click again to switch between your three modes, low, medium, high. Okay. Now we're going to turn it off by long pressing. Now to get into your moonlight mode, you're going to long press. And that brings you to your moonlight. And then after that, you can cycle through your low, medium, and high. Now, to get to your turbo mode, you're going to double click. Of course, that's only going to give you three minutes. So after that, it will step down. And of course, a single click will bring you back into that rotation. Now we're going to turn the light off again. And we're going to go back into moonlight. Now moonlight, if you do a double click, will strobe. So you do have access to the strobe and it's not part of the rotation, so that is nice. You don't have to worry about accidentally strobing yourself with this thing. Of course, after that, you are back into your normal rotation. Another feature this does have is lockout. So if you hold this beyond your moonlight, it will start to do that. And now we're in lockout. What happens in lockout is you now have a momentary flashlight, which is cool. The only way to unlock it is to unscrew it and that will unlock it which is awesome in case you forget because then you can just unlock and do all that so simple operation pretty simple uh, lots of good features there you do have the strobe which is hidden and your turbo you can access pretty much from anywhere which is awesome but that is kind of neat you know so you have quick access to strobe or i'm sorry quick access to turbo not quick access to strobe so that is pretty cool you have a stainless steel bezel orange peel reflector there is your xhp70 a larger led you can see your switch is slightly proud of the body so it is something you can find you know in the dark because you can feel it you have um, some decent heat fins cut into the head and your uh, lanyard hole in the back we're going to take a look at the threads real quick people always ask i am using as you can see a flat top battery and it works just fine because there is a spring in the head and in the tail, your threads are anodized with an O-ring seal there. Uh, not really lubricated from the factory. Pretty smooth uh, machining on that, so that won't really need to be. You can see this has kind of a weird, instead of a spring, just a solid metal um, connector there in the head. So I've experimented with a couple different batteries and found everything I have worked. I don't have a ton of 26650 batteries, though. So... 
Now, another thing to note is you can mechanically lock out the light as well, just by turning that tail switch just a little quarter turn. If you don't want this turning on in your backpack or your car console, you can just back that off uh, because those threads are anodized. So, all right, so not bad, guys. I gotta say, this is a really small XHP70. This is one of the smallest ones I've actually reviewed. And part of that has a very nice solid head to it. So it can handle the heat. You know, obviously you can only do three minutes. But that's all you're going to get out of something this small. Um, heat is what destroys these LEDs. And if you can't dissipate that, then you need to have a step down. So with something this small. I mean, there are 18650 flashlights that are bigger than this, guys. This is a, You can see in my hand, this is a, a relatively small, compact flashlight. And decent quality, I gotta say. It feels, you know, when you take the battery out, the tube feels a little thin, you know, but are, are you really gonna crush this, guys? You know, are we that, you know, insane that we're gonna crush this thing? No. So overall, I like it. You know, it tail stands. Um, big complaints, I really wish there was an anti-roll flat, you know, so that this wouldn't roll around. And, um, but other than that, that's really about it. I really like the form factor of this, you know, kind of tiny, XHP70, there's not a ton of small XHP70s on the market. They tend to be, you know, a little bit on the larger side. So this is a nice size. You know, price, of course, is up there. This is not cheap. But you're not going to find any XHP70s for cheap. The LED itself, guys, if you go to, if you make uh, custom flashlights, the XHP70 is going to cost you between $10 and $20 for one. And then to get a buck, or I'm sorry, a boost driver, um, that's going to cost you, you know, 10 to $20 for a quality boost driver. So if you were to try and build a flashlight like this of your own, it's $20 just in parts just to buy those two things. And that's not even including the fact that you need a, a tube and all that. Um, and then, you know, you need someone to actually program the, the inter So price-wise, I think this is actually quite a nice little price on this. It's, it's not too unaffordable at all, considering it is XHP70. I mean, they are expensive LEDs, guys. They are not cheap. Oh, I wish this had a rough flat so it wouldn't roll. <laughs> uh, we'll just shut this like this. Well, we're here. Maybe we'll run some footage over here again. Um, so, yeah, I'm very happy with this thing. I took this thing out camping this last weekend. I didn't get much footage, guys, because I did kind of screw up my shoulder. I tore my rotator cuff. I'm actually going to need about a month of PT, so I really wasn't able to kind of film and do the things I wanted to do. But it was just nice to get out. So, um, yeah. So real happy, real happy with this little guy. Lumen Top, you know, kind of went silent for a while and hasn't put out anything too insane lately. And I think now that we're seeing some new models again. It's real happy to see. And I think this is a, a really nice competitive um, option for something like the Olay R50 Seeker. So I think they've done a great job. They're, they're right in line with the R50. And, uh, you, know, you know, it's not rechargeable. and It's not a lot of things that the, the Seeker is, but it's also a little bit cheaper too. So one thing to pay in mind, pay mind to. And uh, there you go, guys. That is the ODF-30.